good morning. Today we're going to focus on five early spring flowering species in hedgerows. Hedgerows, ditches and banks are a ubiquitous feature of the Irish landscape. They are, have immense heritage value because they provide a network for biodiversity, they provide a refuge for animal and plant, animal and plant species, and they're also a rich source of folklore um, in the Irish language. Our first species is Ficaria verna, lesser celandine. This is the early, one of the earliest species to come out in hedgerows. It has a bright yellow shiny petals, um, about eight to ten petals per flower, and a shiny green heart-shaped leaf, often clump forming. The flowers have a really interesting behaviour, it's called nictinastic, and that means night closing. So um, lesser celandines are closed in the morning, they open fully at noon in sunshine and they close again at night. And this interesting behavior is thought to protect the flowers from being eaten by slugs and deer at night, but they also close in the rain. So it could be that these flowers by closing, they're protecting the reproductive parts from damage from hail and rain. They are immensely common locally, as you can see on this beautiful south, base, south facing bank here in, in Wicklow. Species number two is Alexander. This is a garden escapee from hundreds of years ago, probably an escapee from a monastic settlement. It's now naturalized and really common in hedgerows. Um, every part of this plant is edible. The leaves are used in pars like a parsley sauce, the stems were used instead of asparagus, and the little flower heads were used instead of cauliflower and broccoli. It's in the carrot family, the little individual flowers are tiny and green, but they're grouped in a flower head called an umbel. These almost look like multiple umbrellas sticking out from a central point. In the evening, this has an incredibly strong smell, and this is a very diagnostic trait. The essential oil is found in myrrh and turmeric. And another diagnostic trait is it's got toothed leaves, but each tooth is ended in a little white tip and that helps you distinguish it from other members of the carrot family that are really common in Irish hedgerows. The next species is called Umbelicus rupestris. Uh, the common name for this is navelwort or pennywort. Penny because it looks round like a penny, and navelwort because it's got this little dimple like a belly button and this is where the leaf stalk enters the leaf. Now it's kind of unusual that this is appearing in a hedgerow. It usually appears on stone walls, but there must be in this bank topped by a hedgerow, there must be big blocks of stone in which this is living. And they say that hedgerows, you can age them roughly by the number of species that are present. So this must be a very old hedgerow here because it's really rich in species, including this unusual little one, navelwort. Our fourth species is primrose. It will be very familiar to, I'm sure, many of you because it's commonly cultivated in Irish gardens. But primrose is actually a native wild plant. Its usual habitat is in the shady understory of um, hedgerows. It has lovely velvety downy leaves which taper at the base and they're wrinkled. The primrose flower is very interesting because if you look closely in the center, um, some of the flowers have what looks like a pinhead in the middle and that's the female taller than the male parts. Then if you look in other flowers they have a fuzzy centre and that's the male taller than the female. So this difference in height between the male and female in different flowers is all about cross-pollination and it stops the plants self-fertilising and ensures um, outcrossing good genetics for the next generation. Primrose is a symbol of good luck in Irish folklore. Good luck for livestock and good luck for humans, warding away evil spirits, witches and fairies. So it's a really interesting and beautiful plant um, in the Irish landscape. Our final species is Aram maculatum. It's also known as Lords and Ladies and Cuckoo Pint. It isn't in flower yet, but it has a really um, very characteristic leaf. It's here amongst the celandines, and you can see it's got these beautiful, large, shiny, arrow-shaped leaves. 
Sometimes there are purple blotches on the leaves. Now, every part of this plant is very poisonous. And in Ireland, it is the one plant species that is most associated with accidental poisonings. It's got these little crystals in it called calcium oxalate. They cause irritation of the skin. And if you eat any part of this plant, it causes um, small cuts on your throat and tongue. So highly poisonous and dangerous. It flowers later in the season and it has a really characteristic flower with a kind of like a light green hood and a central column called a spathe. And on that, there are little tiny male flowers, female flowers and hairs at the base.